today I continue to study in Galatians. Yesterday I finished with the statement, Faith is always a confession of helplessness. Faith, if it means anything, it means this. Lord, I cannot make myself worthy, but I can trust in your love that you can and will give me the Holy Spirit. I want you to say, you can and you will give me the Holy Spirit and say it without any doubt. It is only by faith once and for all, but it is by faith every morning that the actions of the Holy Spirit may be received fresh from heaven. Many people have a previous experience and live on it for 40 years. We need the Holy Spirit fresh from heaven every day. If you want to live the life of the Holy Spirit, it must be a life continually renewed. I must come to every day to be filled fresh with the Holy Spirit. This must be a holy habit of my life. As you begin to continue by faith, you must learn to get hold of God's promises to believe in the divine. God-given power is working in you and that you can walk and will be an humble one from hour to hour. In my life, it's day to day. Just as a father gives bread every day to his child, so my father gives me the blessed power of the Holy Spirit fresh every day. A great mark of a man who lives in the Spirit is deep, true, entire, unbroken dependence upon God. Every minute that the Holy Spirit must come to my heart fresh from God. And thus you receive not by the works of the law, but by the hearing of faith. And this thought that says that some people have experienced the presence of the Holy Spirit once in their life, maybe with the evidence of speaking in tongues once in their life, and they live on that experience for 40 years. Are we being foolish? Have we begun in the Spirit and now we are made perfected in the flesh? That's what the that's what the fourth verse of Galatians says. This is an important an important lesson conveying this solemn warning that a man can begin in the spirit and go offline, go on to per- perfect in the flesh what was begun in the spirit. A man may receive the Holy Spirit and get off track by one thing the flesh. In Romans 8, we see the great great contrast between the spirit and the flesh. It is not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Let's seek the Holy Spirit every day, because the Father promised that we could have it. In Jesus' name, have a good day.